Hi, my name's Alana. I'm going to take you through how to use the Electrodo kit. Um, this is the Electrodo kit as you'd get it. So it's for ages four and over and it teaches hands-on approach to learning circuitry through building scenes and landscapes and little animals that you can make with conductive or insulating dough to get lights to light up, to get buzzers to buzz and tilt switches to control your circuits. So let's take a look inside. So the battery works through, if I take this one here, it has, you put in your four different batteries there and just AA batteries, normal ones, four of them, and then clip the battery back into place and it has an on off switch just there. Crocodile clips are simple, they're just like little crocodile mouths, so you just squeeze them like that. Um, the tilt switch and the buzzers, the inputs, so the buzzer is you plug it in positive and negative makes a sound when the circuit's um, lit up and with the tilt switch it's called a tilt switch because when you tilt it there's a little ball inside that you can hear and when it's tilted upside down the circuit is broken when you tilt the right way up it's connected because the little ball connects to the metal prongs at the bottom so that's just a simple switch and the leds let me take one out the LEDs have something called polarity. So there's a long leg, which is the positive, um, positive electricity is wanted with the long leg, and the negative electricity is for the short leg. So it depends which way around in the circuit you put it, if it works. So that's why um, Electrodo is really good in the fact that it teaches kids and older how um, polarity works in a circuit. And then jump wires simply just, they, they do the similar thing to a crocodile clip, so they just connect two parts up into the circuit. So the two basic types of circuit that you can do is a series circuit, which is illustrated by this little lizard, and a parallel circuit, which is this little lizard. So the difference is, if I turn them both on, that's turned on now, then that's turned on, you can see that the parallel circuit lights up, all the lights light up, pretty much the same brightness. Um, so this is because the electricity is going from the positive lead of the battery over the leg into negative and then back to the battery again but it's doing this the same with each individual LED. So with the series circuit it's going from the positive leg over the LED down again over the LED down again like little bridges and then back through to the negative of the battery. So in a series circuit each LED is sharing the electricity so it's getting less and less the further it goes down. So if we can see with one it's light with two, you can just about see two of them lighting up. Then with three, it pretty much disappears because they're sharing that electricity and obviously there's not enough for three LEDs. So now I'm going to tell you the difference between insulating and conductive dough. So insulating dough, this is made of flour, deionized water, um, vegetable oil and um, sugar. So sugar is the main element which makes it insulating and also it needs deionized water because normal water has little tiny like metals and ions in it that make it conductive. So that's insulating. And insulating dough means that electricity can't pass through it. So conductive dough, this is made with the same ingredients as insulating but slightly different. So flour, water, cream of tartar, which is extra, which gives it a better um, consistency, and salt. So, and again, vegetable oil. So salt is the thing that makes it conductive and also the metals and ions in the normal um, non-distilled water. So for instance, um, and also conductive um, Play-Doh means that the electricity can pass through it. So this is really easily illustrated by if we get the two blobs of conductive dough, put the insulating in between, and then take the long leg, put it one side, short leg, put it the other side and then attach it together. You can see it lights up. So if I put it, put the negative in the insulating dough, then the LED doesn't light up because insulating dough doesn't let electricity pass through it. So I hope this video helped you to understand the basics of the Electro Dough Kit. Um, all the resources are online that show you the different circuits you can try out, how to make insulating and conductive dough, and that should also come in your um, DIY kit. And um, hope you enjoyed the video and have fun making it.